Thank you, Michael. News this morning brought to you by Summers Paint and Body Shop. Check them out online at summerspaintandbodyshop.com. At 711, uh, we have a little something special for you this morning. We're getting ready to celebrate the birthday of the Candy Pop Rocks. I've got uh, some flavors in front of me here this morning. Uh, grape is what was sent to us, and uh, I'm going to pass over the camera to Rob O'Dell because we're taking video of this this morning, and joined by Christina Wolford from WKKJ that's going to help us out, too. You're a Pop Rock fan, right? I am a Pop Rock fan, and anytime you want me to try food, candy, I'm in, just <laughs> so you know. good. Future reference. Uh, joining us here this morning uh, online, we also have Tim TNT Seifert. Good morning, sir. Well, good morning, Dan. How are you this morning? Doing well. Thank you for joining us. Uh, of course, you're in Massachusetts here this morning. You're going to be in the Columbus area uh, later this month, so uh, maybe we'll get a chance to meet with you. That'd be pretty I'd, awesome. I'd love it. Uh, we have Pop Rocks, 35 years old this uh, this month. Is that right? That is absolutely correct. Pretty cool. 1956. Uh, fill us in on, on where this started. What, what was the idea uh, for Pop Rocks? Well, it was actually uh, started by a, a gentleman by the name of Bill Mitchell. He was a chemist with uh, General Foods, and he was absolutely um, trying to come up with some kind of instant soda pop. And I remember my grandmother trying to feed me Tang, which I thought was terrible. And he was trying to come up with instant soda pop that you mixed with water, and it, it just fizzled out. It didn't work. And uh, they actually shelved it from 1956 till uh, 1975 and then they brought it down and came up with what we know today as pop rocks popping candy yeah but uh, i don't know that i've ever seen the astronauts take pop rocks into space i mean they tang yes but, but not pop rocks well you know something if if we still had shuttle flights going dan i think that'd be an excellent thing that we should have done is send some coke and pop rocks up to to uh, <laughs> outer space to the space station uh, we, we have a, d a demonstration we plan on doing here this morning. And uh, for folks who have never seen Pop Rocks before, they're pretty cool. They come in a nice envelope, and you, you rip it open, and you put it in your mouth. And uh, this is what they sound like when you put them in your mouth, as Christina Wolford's going to display for us. Great. Yeah, there's that popping sensation. Wow, you can really hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, now, I... Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's good. the video version of this is not going to be very good. Yes, uh, Mike Smith needs to come over and join us with our Pop Rocks as well. I, I see here that they've introduced uh, rich milk chocolate uh, with a kick as well. Oh, that that has been one of our favorites. We actually introduced it uh, three years ago for the first time. It is actually unflavored Pop Rocks that we put uh, a rich milk chocolate coating over. And, uh, you know, as the chocolate melts in your mouth, you then get the, the fun sensation. And, Christine, I'll send you some if they didn't send you some. Awesome. You'll love them. <laughs> and uh, it, it can be used not only for the enjoyment, uh, uh, as Christina was doing this morning, but you can use it as, as a topping on ice cream, on cakes. And it's just a fun, fun thing to do. So the way you were describing this earlier, what what its in original intent was, is this one of these unintended discoveries that uh, when they were trying to do something else? Well, I, I, what what we understand from uh, talking to the family, and uh, Bill Mitchell, I, I believe, had seven children, and they were probably the most popular in the neighborhood because he'd bring all kinds of different testing things home and <laughs> feed it to the kids in the neighborhood. Uh, after they... Um, found out that the instant soda pop just wasn't going to work, Dan. They they shelved it, and again, I say they brought it down 20 years later and said, we got to do something with this. And they actually figured out that they could mix it with uh, actual sugar, which uh, that's how Pop Rocks is made. Sugar is uh, brought to boiling, and then as it cools, it's injected with CO2. And found out that those little particles of CO2 would be trapped in that uh, hardened sugar candy, and voila, Pop Rocks. You really can't do this quietly, can you? <laughs> We're having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you have added a little extra into this, too. You, you mentioned you put a little soda pop together with this, and something extra happened. So explain the science behind this for us. Well, well actually, uh, the CO2 that is trapped into the sugared candy, uh, it, it went back uh, to the days of uh, Mikey and Life Cereal, 
where General Foods uh, actually had a major problem because there was a rumor that Mikey ate a pack of Pop Rocks with a can of Coca-Cola and exploded. Oh, my. And it's been proven. <laughs> there's, there's seven or eight packages that people would buy at the retail shelf of Pop Rocks uh, is is got the same amount of CO2 as one can of soda pop. So the biggest thing you're going to get when you um, take uh, Pop Rocks and, and Coke is to actually get a really good burp, if I can use that word. That's <laughs> that's the biggest thing that's going to happen. We don't want to hear that. All right, Chris, here we go. Here she, she's got a, a cup of beverage. She mm. just put it in there, and wow, that sounded like you oh, broke well. a bone or two. It did. Just, did she just explode? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Bang. Wow, it really does pop. Uh, let's get a nice close-up on this. Uh, do, pop another bunch in there, and, and let's uh, take another s- s- <laughs> sip of pop. Here's, oh, there goes the whole oh, pack. Wow. The whole pack. I'm going to regret this. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it almost oh, came oh, out. <laughs> it nearly jumped out of her mouth. It did. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, Tim, I'm, I'm sure you do a lot of interviews like this, and uh, it's probably a little more fun when you actually get a chance to see it uh, in person uh, than just to listen about it. But uh, we'll have video of this for you later at WBEX.com. Uh, it sounds like you got a pretty fun job. I have an excellent job. I am a national accounts manager for Pop Rock. I've been with them since 2002, and uh, it is uh, bigger and better today than it's ever been. Uh, with massive distribution in all classes of trade. So um, make sure your friends and family and, and so on, and we'll get you some more stuff sent in. Sounds great. Yeah, yeah we've, uh, I think we've already destroyed about five packages of the 36 that you sent to us. So <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It is Pop Rocks. Uh, happy birthday to Pop Rocks. Uh, we appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to be popping through a, a sports cast here in just a moment. Tim Sievert, thank you again for your time today. Dan, Rob, Christina, thank you. Have a great day. You too. 718 Uh with Dan and Mike at WBEX.